yes so let's move on to the fourth problem so what does it say first question is you have to find the Fourier transform of this signal which is given by x of t equal to t sin t by pi t whole square and later we have to we are asked to evaluate this integral so first we'll talk about the signal first and then we move on to the integral okay right so let us start with uh, see we want to find the Fourier transform of t sin t by pi t whole square so what do we do first let us write down that so we know that sin t divided by pi t so this fellow will have what as Fourier transform this fellow will have a rectangular function from minus 1 to plus 1 correct so minus 1 to plus 1 with amplitude 1 as the Fourier transform okay so but yeah so that is the first step so but uh, we, we have sin t by pi t whole square so sin t divided by pi t whole square can be written as what so sin t divided by pi t and this fellow is multiplied with again sin t divided by pi t so we can write sin t by pi t sorry whole square as sin t by pi t multiplied with sin t by pi t so this is looking like what this is looking like multiplication in time domain so what should happen in frequency domain yet in frequency domain so don't forget that 1 by 2 pi so we will have 1 by 2 pi and convolution of what okay so convolution of two rectangles of same width so you will get minus 1 to plus 1 with amplitude omega convolved with another rectangular function from minus 1 to plus 1 with amplitude 1 okay so we have to convolve these two rectangles of same width why sin t by pi t will have a rectangle from minus 1 to plus 1 another sin t by pi t will have a rectangle from minus 1 to plus 1 because these two fellows are getting multiplied in time domain what should happen in frequency domain these two rectangles should get convolved okay and don't forget this 1 by 2 pi okay so after convolution we know that convolution of two rectangles of same width will give you what will give you a triangle okay so that fellow will give us a triangle from where to where from minus 2 to plus 2 ah, with amplitude how much here so original amplitude okay I will write down this 2 okay so this 1 by 2 pi I will keep it out okay okay so this convolution is equal to 1 by 2 pi multiplied with a triangle why a triangle from minus 2 to plus 2 with amplitude 2 how do you get this 2 here so what is amplitude 2 a1 a2 t so 2 times 1 into 1 into here t is 1 so that's why you will get 2 as the amplitude so finally let us write down what we have got so we have got sin t divided by pi t whole square has what as Fourier transform this triangle as the Fourier transform but from where to where from minus 2 to plus 2 ah, what about the amplitude now 2 multiplied with 1 by 2 pi that fellow will become 1 by pi so because this is a straight line let us write down that equation so that should be 1 by pi times 1 minus omega by 2 and this fellow would be 1 by pi times 1 plus omega by 2 okay so that would be the Fourier transform of sin t by pi t whole square but we don't want Fourier transform of this fellow we want Fourier transform of which signal x of t equal to t multiplied with sin t by pi t whole square okay so what will be this fellow's Fourier transform here this fellow will have x of j omega which is equal to which property we have to use this is looking like t times x1 of t so what is the corresponding Fourier transform j times d by d omega of which function this function correct so d by d omega of 
that triangular function so what do we get we are writing here the fourier transform okay so that should be equal to j times d by d omega of let us plot the triangle which we got above okay so that is a triangle from minus 2 to plus 2 with amplitude 1 by pi and equation of these lines are 1 by pi 1 minus omega by 2 equation of this line is 1 by pi times 1 plus omega by 2 okay and this is our origin so if you differentiate this what do you get so this should be equal to j times ah, let us try to plot the derivative so if you try to plot the derivative of this function how does that look here so from minus 2 to 0 now what will happen you will get uh, from minus 2 to 0 this is a straight line so if you differentiate this you will get 1 by 2 multiplied with 1 by pi so you will get a rectangular function from minus 2 to 0 with amplitude 1 by 2 pi similarly from 0 to 2 that is 1 by pi times 1 minus omega by 2 if you differentiate this you will get minus 1 by 2 pi okay so from 0 to 2 you get minus 1 by 2 pi and this whole thing is multiplied with j so what will be the final answer okay so finally we got t times okay i'll write down x of t equal to t times sine t divided by pi t whole square so this fellow will have what has fourier transform here this function as the fourier transform okay so let us plot that okay so from minus 2 to 0 it is 1 by 2 pi multiplied with j so you will get j by 2 pi similarly from 0 to 2 okay so that is minus j by 2 pi this is omega okay so this is our x of j omega that would be the Fourier transform of t sin t by pi t whole square okay so that is the first question so let us check uh, let us do sanity check whether this is correct or not so what is this function here if you look at this little bit carefully the sin t by pi t whole square is even t is odd so product of even and odd signals is odd and this fellow is real correct all the amplitudes are always real so this is real and dot so what should happen to the free transform you remember conjugation properties ah if the signal is real and dot Fourier transform should be imaginary and dot so that is clear here right so this is an odd function and amplitude of the Fourier transform is always odd okay right so in that way yeah so at least uh, in terms of conjugation properties we have proved that whatever we got is correct okay right next we are interested in finding the integral i equal to integral minus infinity to infinity t square sin t by pi t whole power 4 dt correct so if you look at this integral little bit carefully and look at your signal x of t are they related here yes definitely so this is nothing but integral minus infinity to infinity t times sin t by pi t whole square and whole square we can write like this dt correct so t sin t by pi t whole square whole square will is it is same as this but what is t sin t by pi t whole square that is our x of t so this is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity i'll take modulus because everything is real doesn't matter so modulus of x of t whole square dt now something should flash what is that this is equal to in terms of Fourier transform what will happen we get we use Parseval relation which would be equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity modulus of x of j omega whole square d omega okay so that would be the uh, value of the integral so everything boils down to what evaluating 
this integral. So this integral is same as this integral. But to evaluate this integral, what is required? We have x of j omega, but we want mod x of j omega and then take square of it. So let us plot. If you take modulus of x of j omega, what happens here? So from minus 2 to 0, it is j by 2 pi. If you take modulus, you will get 1 by 2 pi. Then from 0 to 2, it is minus j by 2 pi. Again, if you take modulus, you will get again 1 by 2 pi. And hence, from minus 2 to plus 2, what do we have? Mod x of j omega is a rectangle from minus 2 to plus 2. Okay. So first, let us plot that. Okay. So we are plotting mod x of j omega. So this is minus 2 to plus 2 with amplitude 1 by 2 pi. So what is this function? This is modulus of x of j omega. Okay. Now let us try to evaluate i. We got i to be equal to how much? 1 by 2 pi. Integral minus infinity to infinity mod x of j omega whole square d omega. Mod x of j omega exists from where to where minus 2 to plus 2. So it is enough that we integrate from minus 2 to plus 2 and mod x of j omega value is 1 by 2 pi whole square. So you will get 1 by 2 pi whole square d omega. So this simplifies to how much here? 1 by 2 pi multiplied with 1 by 4 pi square multiplied with 4. Correct? Integral of 1 is omega. So, integral limits if you apply, you will get 4. So, this 4 will get cancelled and this integral finally simplifies to 1 by 2 pi cube. Okay? So, direct evaluation of this integral is tough. Okay, but if you take the help of Fourier transform and parsable relation, we can directly do the integral and it gets evaluated to 1 by 2 pi cube. Okay.